It's the Red here. Today is March 19th, 2019, and we have finally got a break in the weather that I can get out to the bot to the bees again. I mean, for the last eight, uh, seven days for sure, it's been cold and wet. Today is our first day where the temperatures are going to get above 60. I think it's supposed to be about 65, 68 degrees for our high today, and uh, and we've got plenty of sunshine. But I, I was just walking out in the field, and the bees are flying in the boxes right now. So it's the first day in, in at least five or six days of. of really nasty weather so I, there was no way I could get into the boxes to, to evaluate to look at um, queen cells and generally we want to get into our boxes within seven to ten days of placing our double screen dividing board in there to make sure that we have a queen cell uh, being developed in the box that does not have the queen now because I'm so delayed in getting into our boxes there is a very good chance that the queens that were the queen cells that were laid that the queens have already emerged from their cells because it's already been 12 days 12 days since we have gone into these boxes so there is a chance that the queen um, has emerged and if that's the case then I'm going to look for evidence of you know cells that are opened up or hacked on or any kind of way opened and which would indicate that a queen is running loose somewhere in, in the hive and if that's the case, then I'm going to go ahead and just put the whole box together. Now, there, there are instances that the queen did not wind up in this top box, that she still is in the bottom box. And in those, in those cases, I'm going to have to go and look through the top box as well. And what I'm going to do when I go through the top box, it'll be the same thing. I'm looking for queen cells. Now, if I do find queen cells in the top box as opposed to the bottom box at that point I'm going to do another reversal I'm going to take the top box and put it on the bottom now remember our entrances for the our entrance for the top box is right here in the back and our entrance for their bottom box is here in the front so what I'm going to do when I do this rotation I'm still going to keep the entrance in the back on the top box and the entrance in the front on the top on, on the on the bottom box. The reason being for this is that all the all the field bees that were in this bottom box, I want them to come back to the bottom box. And if we do have some field bees uh, in this top box that are out, they're going to wind up going into this top box. But there's going to be more bees coming back to this bottom box uh, in, in the end. So we need to get our developing queen onto the bottom box. And the whole reason we want to get the queen, the developing queen on the bottom, is when we finally do our split, we're going to be removing the old queen from this stand and moving her off. And again, it's when we move that old queen off, we're going to be stealing bees from her once again. And the whole idea of that is to demoralize the queen and you know, with the intent that the bees will then supersede this queen because they keep losing bees. She's laying eggs, but they keep losing bees. So something's must be wrong with the queen and the bees will supersede. So I'm gonna go ahead out in the field and uh, start our process. Uh, I'll probably think of some more stuff when I'm out there to, to tell you about. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead out in the field and start looking for queen cells in the, in the top bottom box. By the grace of God, we'll get through at least a dozen or two of these hives today and then the weather's supposed to be good for the next four days. So we'll, by the end of that, I should be finished all of our hives. Let's go wrangle and look at for some queen cells, huh? Now when you come out to your, to your box, I'm telling you, there's going to be a dozen different scenarios that, that you could be looking at. The ideal scenario is when we take off our top box and set it on the side, that we go through our bottom box and we find cells in there, queen cells in there. That's, that's our ideal situation. But it, it doesn't happen all the time like that because remember only 95% of the time the queen's going to be up in, in this top box, the other time she's down here. So you, you, have, to, you have to be able to adjust as, as you're out in the yard working your bees. You have to kind of like think right then and there, make a decision. And if you don't make a decision, you can always come back and change it later. So 
don't think that oh you made the mistake and oh I can't fix it no it, it could be fixed it may not be able to be fixed that day but in a week or so you can get come back and and, and straighten it out so ideally our queen's going to be in our top box and in the bottom we're going to find emergency cells and that's the way I always go into the boxes I, I think before I open it up I said what am I going to do in here so I'm looking I know I'm going to pull this top box off set it on the side and then I'm going to go frame by frame in this bottom box and I'm looking for emergency cells so I don't know what's going to happen with the inside of this box we'll find out and if we come up with a different scenario well we'll deal with it uh, as we go so the bees are really active right now they are they're like really active so I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the top box along with the double screen dividing board set it on the side set my little set my little frame holder up on the box go through the frames uh, one by one and start looking for queens so let's do this I'm going to take the bottom board off with it because I don't want to separate them. It's only going to make more bees in the air. And as you can see, they're in the air. So it'd be advisable, make sure you have smoke in your smoker when you open these things up, because these bees are really active. I gotta go put more smoke in here. Now when I pull these frames out, I look on the frames and I look and see which frames have the least amount of bees on it. And I'm going to start pulling the frames out from the that side. This this box is just full of bees. Now remember, when I pull these frames out, I'm looking for look at all these bees. I'm looking for emergency cells on the face of our frames. And you have to go through frame by frame until you find them. All right, we already got, I see the first one right now. Let me uh, grab, go up to the camera. It's not much, but it's what you want to find. I mean, when you find all these bees, that's great too. But So here's our, our little cell right there. And it's not much of a cell, I can assure you, but it's still a cell. And to me, that's good enough. That's good enough for me. There may be there may be other cells in that box, but as far as as I'm concerned, and in fact, here's one on the back side as well. Now there's another one right there. And here's another tiny one. Here's another little one. So there's several of them. Just even on this on this frame alone there's several of them on it so I'm good I don't need to go and look anymore I'm gonna go ahead and put 
this frame back in the box and, and close the box up and we're good. I know I've got cells in there to make uh, I, I know I've got cells in there to make a new queen and that's good enough for me. I mean, there are a lot of bees in this one. And we didn't even have to go through this box because we already found cells. So we know the queen is in here because the bees aren't going to lay emergency cells if they have a queen in the box. So this box is good to go. All we got to do is put it back on there. We got an entrance in the back. Because my memory isn't really good, I'm going to write on this box, good to go. I lost my black magic marker somewhere around here, so I'm using a pencil. Hope I can see that. So that's it for this one. Let's go ahead and move on down the line and see if we get a different scenario so we can talk about that. Now let's see if we got a different scenario in this box. I have my smoker going good this time. I can tell you this, there are a lot of bees in these boxes. And they're not light. So again, I was saying, what am I doing? I'm looking for emergency cells on these frames. Moved our top box off. Hopefully our queen was in it. And we should have emergency cells in this box right here. And generally your first two frames, I mean this one's just chock full of honey, these two. At least that one is. So I like to pull three frames out. That gives me enough room to work the inside frames and then slide everything back together without damaging any of those cells. Ooh, got a beauty on this one. Look at that one. Yeah, that's what I call a nice cell right there. That's it. I don't need to go anymore. Let's go ahead and close this one up. Look at the next one. Right, we know by having that emergency cell in here, our queen certainly isn't in here. And we know since we scraped all of our swarm cells off two weeks ago almost, the only kind of cell that's going to develop is an emergency cell. That's it. Well, here we go again. We got two of them right here on the face. Two more. It's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and close this one up. Whoo! <laughs> Look on the other side, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Well, no need to look any further. <laughs> Let's close this one up, wow. What do we do if when we go through our bottom box that we don't mm -hmm. find any, any superseding or, or emergency cells? Uh, we know that the brood, there wasn't brood enough young enough in this box for them to do it. So in that case, what I'll do is I go through, as I'll go through my boxes, 
I will take extra cells, extra emergency cells. I'll cut them off and I'll stick them in there. I can either do that or I can go up into the box where the queen is and pull a frame of newly laid uh, eggs in this frame, from this box into this box and they'll draw out, out a cell for sure. But either way, as long as you, you get your emergency cell going in this box, you know that within another week or so, we're going to come back in here and we're going to actually do our split, remove this box from, from our hive. So I really think that's about all I've got for you on this one. Oh, the, um, so what happens then if in the scenario that when we go into this box, we don't find any brood, but we find our queen. So what happens in instances like that, what I'll do is I will now take this box which has the queen on it, I'll set it on the side, take the box that doesn't have the queen in it right here and put it right here. Now I'm still going to go through this box to make sure that I've got an emergency cell on it because I don't want to wait the extra days to, to find out. So I'm going to go through the box, find it if it's got emergency cells on it, if it doesn't have emergency cells on it, I'll grab a frame from the, where the queen is and then drop it in there. But either way, we'll get the hives to go to generate that, that cell so that in just another two more weeks, I'll be able to remove that box. So that's all I got for you in this one. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Really hope it helps. Uh, it's just the way I do my splits. Um, and it's not the only way, but it's just the way I do it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. One more thing. We've got some really great entries into our swarm catch competition. Um, I, I don't even, at the top of my head, I don't know how many are, six, seven, but some really great ones. And what I'd like to ask is when you send in the picture of your swarm, it would really be great if you could get your picture in there, your head, your body along with the swarm, like, like uh, the rooster has done and Yappy has done. That way we you get a little bit more personal with the swarm catches and uh, it just looks so, so much nicer on the, on the frame with your face in there with the bees. So send those to my uh, email address, which is in the description of the video and I'll keep on posting them.